So let's continue factoring by greatest common factor. So look at number three. So comparing to last two problems, so you got much harder and then we have fraction. So whenever you have this kind of polynomial form, then my recommendation, you may combine them using the common denominator. Fortunately, all three fractions have the same denominator which is 2. Therefore, you can rewrite this 5x cubed minus 3x plus 7 over 2. Now, we try the factoring on numerator if they share any common factor. So 5x cubed minus 3x plus 7. Look carefully 5x cubed 3x and 7. Do they share any common factor? No. That's why this is the answer. But denominator 2 means you can also, we can say factor by 1 over 2 as well. So you can do 1 over 2 times 5x cubed minus 3x plus 7. That is the same meaning. Okay? So I'm going to put over here, so you can just take the form, the first as a fraction form or like a factoring form, half time others. Look at number four. When you look at these questions, the tricky part is this. So unlike other problems, it has already factoring form, which is x plus 2 squared. But this question asks you factoring again. This case, if you aim to expand its form and then recompose and then factoring, then they can be much harder. And now, so let's think about a little bit different approaches. What does x plus 2 square mean? Isn't that means x plus 2? Time x plus 2 and then this means 5 times x plus 2 so now we can say this x plus 2 it is already common factor then why don't we factoring by this factor okay so I, I copy this uh, I, I copy down this one on the bottom here so x plus 2 square minus 5 x plus 2 and then just factor by x plus 2 then you know this term 1 x plus 2 left and minus 5 left here x plus 2 5 they don't show any other any more factor so you cover them using the bracket and then making multiplication form then this becomes x plus 2 times x plus 2 minus 5 but 2 and 5 they are both constant numbers so you can simplify so x plus 2 and then x minus 3 that will be the final answer so number five, so we are factoring negative 14xqy minus 21xy. Unlike other questions, this time, you know, these two terms share common factor. When I see that constant common factor, also x and y term as well. So we need to find all the common factor in this case. So let me copy down bottom and then we start doing it. So negative 14x cubed y minus 21xy. So what's the common factor by numbers? So again, if you get confused, you may think four numbers 2, 5, 3, 7. So let's just checking one by one so I don't think it is working 
because 21 is not multiple of, uh, multiple of 2, no 5, 3, no, because 14 is not multiple of 3 either. What about 7? Yes, we can do 7. So, but in this case, both are negative sign, so I want to factor by negative 7 instead. Then this become 2x cubed y minus or plus because negative negative become plus and 3x y now. So between numbers 2 and 3, they don't share any more common factor. So let's move on x term here. So now we can do x then 2x square y plus 3y. Now we also see y and y. So become y then 2x square plus 3. So 2x square plus 3 there's no more common factor. So please cover by the parentheses and making multiply symbol then this become negative 7 x y and 2 x square plus 3 that will be the complete factoring form of this polynomial so let's look at this number so now unfortunately we have negative exponent but we know the one form a to the negative n equal to 1 over a to the n power. Therefore, now you can rewrite this 4 over x fifth plus 8 over x seventh. So when we talk about one fraction form of polynomial, I recommend you to find common denominator and then combine to numerator, right? So what's the LCD? So least common denominator in this case. So as you see, this is the our least common denominator. Therefore, I'm gonna multiply x square here and then also another x square here, then this becomes 4x square plus 8 over x7 then, right? Now, do you see any common factor on numerator? So 4x square and plus 8. If you do, then I'm going to just write down numerator factor and then factoring by common factor. So what's the common factor? You can see 4 right away, just do it. Otherwise, you can start doing 2, 5, 3, 7, those 4 basic prime numbers as well. So this time, we can see 4 easily, so I also factor by 4. Then this become x square plus 2. No more common factor between x square and 2. So cover by the parentheses and then make the ASA multiplication. So this becomes 4 times x squared plus 2. That will be our denom numerator here. Therefore, the factoring form becomes 4 x squared plus 2 over x7. That will be the complete factoring form of this polynomial.